Okay, so we're just working with Maddie Miller. Um, we're just going through some punch shots, and you said, Maddie, that when you swing the punch shots, you just like to hit them fairly straight. Yep. Okay, and to achieve that, it should be a little bit more of an abbreviated backswing rather than the longer swing of what you do when you're hitting normal flights. Yep. And just making sure that you're getting that pinching action going. Yep, wait on the left side and, and uh, go down the grip a little bit. Yep. Shorter swing. Yep. And shorter follow through as well. So take more club. Yep. And what we've talked about today, as far as hitting a draw, a high draw or any kind of draw, is that the feet can be square at a dress and the ball position can be a little bit further back if you wish. But also, as far as just hitting the fade or the stock standard shot, the feet can be slightly open, not a lot open, and making sure the weight stays on the left side. Yep. Okay? So that's what I'd like you to get you know, into your practice routine. And also, while we're out here at sunny Gold Creek, uh, to work on a variety of shots from different parts of the fairway, out of the rough, um, to create a lot more of a workshop mentality when you are practicing. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we're talking to Matty about trying to get his three wood, five wood driver to get a bit more launch on it. And Matty sometimes gets a bit flat in his setup combined with weight a little more right side dominant. So how we've set it up now to actually create a more powerful and more launch friendly setup is the weight still stays on the left side but there's a definite shoulder tilt so he feels like he can actually hit the ball on the upswing and obviously get a lot more flight out of it and carry and that's with all the long stuff 